welcome back to my channel for those who are just tuning in welcome my name is Jessica and you can also follow me on Instagram my yes I can do makeup and for today's look I use the through my eyes palette from I love Sarian Colourpop collection so if you wanted to see how I created this look just go ahead and keep on watching and now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids using this luscious cosmetics age eyes primer in the shade nude <laughs> So the palette I'm just going to be using today is a Through My Eyes palette by Love Sarelli and Colourpop. And the first shade I'm going to start off today, I'm going to be using the shade Walsall, which is this shade. It's one of my favorite shades from this palette. I'm going to place that right above my crease. I just love this shade so much. Thought I did a good job with this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Morphe M504 brush, sorry, to blend that shade out. Now going back with my Morphe M506 brush, I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade called um, Euphoric. I can't pronounce this shade. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. So I'm going to use that shade now. I'm going to put it right there above. Just a little bit above the crease. Not as above as when we applied that shade Wild Soul. But yeah, just a little bit above that shade. Go ahead and blend out that shade now and I'm going to use this Morphe M441 brush and just blend that product upward. I'm going to blend that shade upward. Just blending it upward. And I'm going to go ahead and use this shade Misbehave and with the same Morphe M504 brush just placing that product right on the crease now. Just like that. And going back with that Morphe M4 for one brush, just blending that shade also. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Morphe M433 brush and, and grabbing that shade Divina, the shade here, and placing that right in the middle of the crease. And what I'm doing, I'm gonna go ahead and dab that shadow right on there. So I just want those colors specifically there. I'm blending it also a little bit, but I just want it mostly in the crease. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my Shape Tape Concealer and I'm in the shade Fair and I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease now and I'm going to use a Lamar Synthetic Brush just to cut that crease. So I'm just doing it right in the middle. My lid just like that. So I'm going back with that Morphe M4-3 brush, I'm going to go ahead and grab that shade Divina again. Just a little bit more again in that outer corner. In the inner. And I'm going to go ahead and use a shade called Misbehave, which is a shade here. Again, I'm using that same Morphe M4-1 brush, applying that little bit, going towards that concealer. I'm 
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab that shade called Lomo, which is this shade here. I'm just placing that shade now next to that shade Misbehave. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my favorite shade from this palette, which is a shade Mesmerize. Beautiful shade there. Placing that right in the center. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some liner. I'm using this um, pretty vulgar gel liner in the shade Blacklist. I'm sorry. Okay, so I already applied my face products and it's the exact same products I use in every single one of my videos. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead now and um, place some shadow on the bottom of where my lash line is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Luxie 141 mini round brush and I'm gonna go ahead and um, use that shade uh, Euphoric and Wild Soul. So I'm blending those two shades together and I'm placing that in the bottom my lash line now going back with that shade misbehave which is the shade here using that same brush apply that very close to the lash line now i'm going to go ahead and water my waterline and i'm using the same sugar cosmetics back to black eyeliner that in my water line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Morphe M432 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and grab that shade um, Divina again and just going and placing that shadow on top of that liner and smudging it together. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this shade called Lucido, and I'm applying that right in the inner corner. Just going to brighten up that. Right. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this Definacil's Mascara by Lancome, and just placing that mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm going to go ahead and contour and I'm going to use the same KKW Beauty Contour and Highlighting Kit in the shade of medium. I'm going to go ahead and use the Selena by MAC um, Cosmetics brush. Um, just applying that right there. Hollows my cheeks and I'm just bringing a little bit inward. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that deeper shade to deepen that contour just a little bit. Right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply this um, Laura Geller blush in the shade uh, Blush and Brighten. It's a pinky corally shade and has some shimmers to it. It's a very beautiful shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply some highlighter and I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dip. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade um, called Summer and Moonstone. So I'm, sh I'm mixing those two shades together. Just applying it right there. cheekbones. I haven't used this in a while so just spread it out. I'm using the shade of summer. Just place, placing that in the very tip of my nose and then right here on the bridge of my nose. 
for my lips, I'm going to go ahead and use this Ala Sarai and ColourPop liquid lipstick and this shade Sueño de Coco. So yeah, you can leave it like this or you could apply gloss on top. It's personally your choice. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and apply some gloss over it and I'm going to use the ColourPop and Disney Villains collection gloss in the shade Sad But True. I just love how it has that purple undertone to it. If you guys can see that. Just love that. Alright guys, so this is the final look. <laughs> So much for watching if you wanted to see more videos go ahead and click the subscribe button and also I'd really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching